Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is the 16th episode of my bookish favourites advent calendar series and today I want to talk about Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. This is a young adult dystopian novel published in 2005 and I read it either in the same year or the next year whenever the German translation came out. So I was practically the same age as the main character, which always makes a book just that little bit more relatable. Even now as an adult, when I read a book and the main character is my age, uh, I feel a connection with them. So this is a story set in the far future of America and the main character is 15 year old Tally Youngblood and she lives in a world of peace and happiness, everyone's healthy, everyone's wealthy. Um, you can see where this is going if you've ever read a dystopian novel before. And this is a world in which everyone is pretty, everyone is beautiful, because at age 16 you go through the ritual of having complete plastic surgery that makes you beautiful, with the idea being if everyone is beautiful then um, that gets rid of some of the inequalities in society. And Tally can't wait to get her surgery on her 16th birthday. As well as everyone having this ritualistic plastic surgery, this world is also very much divided. Uh, the, the society is very much divided by age, so you have all the children, you know, up to uh, ages of 15 living together. You have all the young people fresh out of their surgery uh, living together in a party metropolis at the center of this community, the envy of all. And then when they settle down, they, you know, move to a separate part of this of this city. And so everything is very segregated. Everything is very organized. Everything is very orderly. And Tally is very happy to be part of that organized, happy, beautiful society. But then she meets a friend, another 15 year old girl named Shay, who's a bit of a rebel. And she doesn't actually want to become pretty. She doesn't trust this society. And that way Tally gets drawn into this adventure that takes her to the depths of her own society and takes her out into the wilderness. This novel had everything that I loved about a good dystopia at age 15 and at age 28 today. I love stories of um, people discovering the faults in their own society and that is a pretty big trope in dystopian fiction in general. But I also love stories of people uh, surviving in the wild and there's quite a bit of that in Uglies as well because Tally has to go on a literal journey through the countryside um, that is not orderly and beautiful and perilous. So she has to go out and survive and, uh, and I also love stories about people rebuilding societies and there's quite a bit of that in this book as well. All of these things make a novel that I still find incredibly attractive as a, as a setting for a world. It is probably quite dated if you read it um, in 2019 because a lot of the aspects of the stories have become cliches in young adult, in young adult uh, dystopian fiction in particular. We have love triangles, we have evil professor types. There's a lot of things that have become more than tropes, that have become kind of cliches, but uh, they certainly weren't when the book was published and I still see this as quite a fresh take on a dystopian novel that is at the same time a coming of age story, that is at the same time a journey of adventure. All three things make me just love this book so much. And when I say this book, um, I mean this book as part of a whole series because uh, Uglies is just the first part in a trilogy uh, set around Tally and her friend Shay. And within this futuristic dystopian world, like many a good dystopian novel, at its heart it is about friendship, about society and about belonging and about shaping your own world versus fitting into the world that has been shaped around you. Let me know if you either read this when you were younger, if you've read it recently, and what you made of it. See you tomorrow, and thank you for watching. Bye!